Hey everyone, welcome back to This Week in Ecology, which is a series that I run where I talk as a wildlife biologist about some of the breaking news in the world of ecology and wildlife biology. And today we actually have one that's trending just about anywhere, and that is the manatee that was found with Trump what appeared to be etched into its back. We're gonna talk a little bit about the facts of um, this case in a moment, but it's really getting a lot of people riled up for very good reason, including myself, so let's get into it. State and federal wildlife officials in Florida are investigating reports and a video of a Florida manatee with the word Trump written into its back. This video was released by Haley Warrington, who is a boat captain at a fishing charter company based out of Florida. Government officials estimate around 6,300 manatees in Florida, but the West Indian manatee, which is the species that we're talking about that this crime has happened to, is also found in the Caribbean. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Director Oriella Skipwith said in a statement, West Indian manatees are essential members of the ecosystems in which they inhabit and they are protected under the Endangered Species Act and the Marine Mammal Protection Act. So the Endangered Species Act and the Marine Mammal Protection Act are federal pieces of American legislation that protects these manatees from harassment, injury, and death. These regulations are no joke, and the injury of a manatee in this area is punishable with up to $50,000 fine with one year in jail as a federal crime. There's also the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act of 1978, which also protects manatees in Florida from harassment. So those are multiple pieces of legislation stacked on top of each other that is absolutely outlawing any sort of harassment of this manatee. The reason why these really strict regulations are in place, not only for manatees, but to many other marine mammals, is there's a really real threat to this very limited population of manatees in Florida. Like I said, 6,300. And the reason for why that population is really vulnerable is boat collisions. Uh, that's gonna be one of the big ones that's gonna come up when it comes to altering manatee behavior and drawing them into humans is increased likelihood of boat collisions. Other issues that face these manatees are hunting, habitat destruction, and toxic red tide which all impacts this vulnerable species. Not only is it harassment of an animal, which unfortunately happens probably every single day in the United States, especially marine mammals, um, it's also a perfect depiction of the political division in the United States and really in the world right now on the natural world. What is more symbolic of that than the word Trump written onto a vulnerable endangered animal. I think that something is like very striking about that and I think that's why this case is going so viral, but I'm not gonna lose the chance to talk about how vulnerable marine mammals are even outside of this case. And that comes into play when we start talking about issues like tourists taking photos, hugging manatees, or turtles um, in Hawaii, sea turtles, taking selfies with them. You know, this is actually an issue that comes up again and again and again. Um, so we never should stop talking about how much we need to protect our marine mammals, especially in these highly vulnerable localized populations. So the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Committee has said some of the reasons behind why we should not harass manatees is it creates a danger that's bad for the animal and it alters the manatee's natural behaviors. And the reason for that is anytime that humans are interacting with a wild animal, that's actually, for many species, having a real impact on their behavior. So an example of that is feeding, is attracting the animal towards humans. Um, I have no idea how someone wrote on a manatee with algae, like the logistics of that completely escape me, but if a manatee becomes accustomed to being around humans and is habituated to humans, they will alter their behavior in the wild and that could lead to manatees being less afraid of boats and to humans and makes them more susceptible to harm. And so when manatees are less afraid of boats and humans, they might go up to the boats and there we go. We saw that boat collisions were a big impact to that population going up to humans 
higher likelihood to be hunted. So there's a number of reasons why we don't want manatees to be accustomed to boats or humans. So that's why this act, this crime was absolutely reprehensible. And it, I really hope we can come to the bottom of who did this to this animal. Um, I'm happy to see it's getting the press that it is because Green mammals deserve to be on the front pages when stuff like this happens to spread the message of what's impacting their populations. So if anyone has any information about what happened to this manatee, there is now a hotline you can call. It's 888-404-3922. And the Center for Biological Diversity, which is a nonprofit group that helps protect endangered animals, is offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to a conviction in this case. So I hope that gave you a little bit of information behind the story um, and a little bit about manatee behavior to help understand what happened. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to, you can share this around to help people hear a little bit more about marine mammals and what manatees are susceptible to. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.